Hello, this is David from goldstartool.com and today I'm going to show you how to do our magnetic snaps. Uh, as you know, a lot of bag makers use magnetic snaps in any type of craft or uh, bags that you make. Uh, magnetic snaps are really, really popular and they come in uh, two very popular sizes and four colors. Uh, we have them in antique brass, we have them in silver, we have them in gold and gunmetal, the most popular size is really gunmetal and they come in two different sizes, they come in uh, 14 millimeter and 18 millimeter, 18 millimeter stands for 3 quarter and 14 millimeter stands for 9 16. Again, a very popular item uh, among bag makers uh, or any other type of closure that you might need and uh, today I'm going to show you how to put them on using our popular uh, snap press machine. We, I have the dice here for you and I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do them. They're magnetic so they're very easy to do and uh, here I'm gonna go over the uh, how to do it so we have I have here a piece of cloth it's a uh, material that you do for a stiffener of a stiff, uh, for using it on bags and uh, I'm gonna use two layers and I have here the four part die for the grommet press machine that I have here um, so we have two upper dies that screw on and the two upper di di lower dies that uh, drop in. Again, our uh, snap press machine has a lower hole that is half an inch and is drop in and the upper die is a quarter inch screw on. Uh, something that you guys want to know before you purchase our machine or our die. Uh, we have adapters as well, but this is the norm right now. I'm going to show you how to do this. So, the dies have the lower dies have one with the nipple and one with the dimple. So, this one with the nipple is for the. Uh, by the way, we're going to go ahead and use the 18 millimeter. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use the one for the with the nipple. It just drops in there, and obviously the other side which you have two exact same thing and you only need one of them. These are four part uh, snaps, uh, the male and female and two washers in the back, but the washers are the same. You could use the same type of washer to uh, put this on. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the upper die. Now, you could do two things to, you could drop this in the bottom obviously you always have to tie this up you always have to have a screwdriver handy and uh, when you want to do this the easiest thing is to go ahead and make your hole and put them through I'm going to make a uh, mark right here and I'm going to go ahead and get my scissor and I'm going to go ahead just go through it this one too and put the male part through the holes. Well, I have to make a bigger hole. So, here. They went through and just put them down. And it drops right in. You don't have to do anything. Put the washer on. And I use the magnet the uh, gun metal, so I'm going to go ahead and gun metal and done, that's it it folds the back now, this is not really, you know, I need more pressure but done, this is one side of it I'm going to go ahead and cut this and do one more for you guys. 
I'm gonna stand behind this so you guys could see better. So I have the the one with the nipple. I call it the male part. You have to make two holes, and just I'm gonna use one of these to just go ahead and uh, make the hole. Mark them. You could see the mark right here. Put a hole using my little tiny cutter. Put the magnetic snap through. Put the back on. I'll just drop it in there and go ahead and done. This is our male part or the nipple part right here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and change the bottom die only. You could still, you don't need to change the top die, only the bottom die and I'm gonna put the one with the nipple in there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use the female part of this put it down there and that one is magnetic this is the magnetic part the one with the uh, female part is the magnetic part I'll go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and use this one again mark the fabric put the hole in them now, what I'm using right now, they're very stiff. They're stiffeners for bag making that a lot of bag makers buy from us. Uh, I'll go ahead and make the hole or cut. Take this out. Put them in there. And voila. Now, uh, we also have, again, we have the smaller type. I thought it would be better for the camera to use the bigger one, just for you guys to see. So we have both the uh, uh, 18 millimeter and 14 millimeter. Now, here you go, done. One more time. The one with the female part on the bottom you get the washer, you could even use the washer, put it down to make the holes. Just go through them. As a matter of fact, it would be very easy. I'm going to use my the other side too. We have them in, uh, again, two sides and four colors, gunmetal, gold, antique brass and silver and we have great pricing on them uh, that's what people tell us when they buy them from us we have them instead of ten hundred or thousand set and uh, we sell them to a lot of uh, you could always press them like that just to make sure it's done it's a done deal and here you go and you want to know how they're really, really strong too. So you can't just trust any uh, company if you want to buy one of these from. They really have to be magnetic, should be really strong. These are really strong. The color, again, I'm going to go, I'm going to emphasize on this thing. Uh, for people that buy their D ring, O ring, and uh, square ring, and all that stuff from us, uh, our factory makes sure that the blend of the color of all of these things are all the same meaning that uh, if you buy the uh, if you buy the uh, uh, the snap from us and you buy a ring snap or any prong snap rivets or anything that you buy from us all the colors match together so you don't have any uh, different color some people have light color with different a dark color but by us it's all the same uh, another great product from gold star tool please like comment share
and let me know what you want me to do next. Thank you for watching. Visit our website goldstartool.com.